Hello friends, in this quick video, we're going to show you how to include and use cookies in Angular application. It is fairly simple. All we have to do is first install ngx cookies, uh, cookie service in our Angular folder, which we are in the Angular cookie right now. So it could be npm, npm install, save, and then ngx cookie service. Okay, we installed our ngx cookie service right over here. So the next thing is, let's head over to the app module. We need to import our newly installed cookie in our applications. To do that, in our providers, um, cookie service, and then we need to make sure we need to include that because TypeScript is complaining about the unavailability of uh, cookie service. So import cookie service from ngx cookie service that's fine so once that's done we need to head over to our component ts i mean this can be any component for now it's an app component in your application or in a real world application this can be this could be a login application login component or any other kind of component which will make use of our cookie or even a service right so the first step is um we need to add a constructor to our component and we need to have uh, we need to inject our cookie service for that we need to add a field in our class called cookie cookie service now once you've done that typescript will automatically import your cookie service in on top of the class okay so now if you notice we have a simple login form wherein a user will log in and then that, that information will be sent to the backend after the successful login. We will be making use of that information, um, feed that into a cookie, uh, wherein those cookie information will be used later on in our application. Those information could be user ID or user type, wherein uh, your application may need those information, those session um, to make use of whatever the application is intended to do. So. What we'll do is we already have our button so we can create a uh, click event and attach it to a method in our class so click event that goes to a login method and in our component let's create a login method this could be a more complex uh, com complex form of application but for now this is just fine console.log we're gonna call we're gonna just name it as a login method is called okay so let's check it to see if this works in our console login method is called that's fine now the next bit is we're gonna use this field in our class called cookie and set the information Okay, before that, let's first assume that we got a return response from the server. So once the response is received, we're going to save those info in our cookie. So that's how an app, real world app works. So this dot cookie dot set user ID that leads to a user ID, which obviously Will be f this will be a response item and then um, just an example i'm going to add one more information called user type this could be something like internal or external or network admin or system admin you know you know any kind of user type that your application is intended for okay so let's refresh and sign in so once you sign in our method is called Go, let's go ahead to application there you are the one that we set in our cookie which is right over here um, is showing up um, as a user ID and user type so setting a cookie definitely works now let's go one step further getting a cookie which is fairly simple um, I'm using alert in a real-world app it could be a model box or it could be um, it could be something like using using getting a cookie and 
showing up somewhere in your top right corner of your application or uh, top left corner or anywhere in your application you intended to use so this could be this is with id this dot cookie again we're using our field in class called cookie and then getting the user id so let's close the bracket and then successfully logged in so this could be our statement now let's go ahead and do a successful login and get the cookie information sign in and we got the cookie information over here so this is pretty much about the cookie so what we have done is we installed our cookie ngx cookie service and then we imported that ngx cookie service in our app module and then attached it to our providers making it available for injection dependency injection so we are then next step is we are making that available to i mean we are injecting our cookie service to our app component and later on we did, we created a login method wherein we mocked a fake login and then set the cookie for our log for our user after the login and then we get the cookie thank you for watching my angular video please do like and comment for any suggestions and subscribe for more videos thank you